Now, okay, so there's a fair few of you here. I thought I might as well start this video and um, let's see how we go. So I'll show you guys how to start this pumpkin in a second. Now the best thing about a post-workout pumpkin too is that the reason I decided to talk about this today because it takes about an hour to cook. So what you could actually do is you could turn on your oven, you could put the pumpkin in, you can go and train, and then when you come back, it's gonna be so much more easier. You come home, you've already got that nice hot meal. So what we always wanna do when we start with the, um, with the pumpkin is I've got a butternut pumpkin here, okay? And so what we always wanna do first, we're gonna scoop out the seeds. So just using a spoon, all I'm gonna do is just all the way around, scoop it out, all the seeds, until I can get it all out. Sorry, it's taking a little bit longer than usual. Yeah, pretty much. So now I have got all the seeds out. Okay, so now I've got the hollow um, butternut pumpkin there. Now once I've got the hollow, hollow butternut pumpkin, then I'm gonna use the other ingredients. Now the ingredients I'm gonna be using is the butternut pumpkin, Got a little bit of butter here, okay. Not too much, just a little bit of butter. Honey. Himalayan rock salt. Cinnamon. Salt and pepper. Really easy. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius, okay? So while the oven's preheating on 200 degrees Celsius, this is when you're gonna start uh, adding all the ingredients on top of the, on, oh, see, that's my other one done. So I'm actually gonna show you guys that done in a second. So what you're gonna do, once you've got all your ingredients there, so you've got your salt, your pepper, your cinnamon, your honey, your butter, and your bu butternut pumpkin, all I'm gonna do first is Get my butternut pumpkin, and I'm gonna spread on some butter over the top of it first. Now you don't want too much butter, because obviously, you know, the more butter you use, the more tasty it's gonna be, but it's also gonna add up to a lot more calories too. So what I wanna do, is all I'm gonna do is just smear my butter, on the very top of the butternut pumpkin. So when I've got butter all the way over the top, what you can do is now I can add in everything else to it. I can put on my salt, my pepper, my honey, and that way it's just gonna sit on there so then it's gonna seep all through the pumpkin. So once I put on my butter first, then you add on everything else. So because the salt, the pepper, and the cinnamon are gonna stick to the butter and the honey, the next thing you'll put on is honey. Now the same type of thing, you can just pour on the honey if you want, or you can just uh, smear it on with a knife. So I'm gonna smear it on with a knife. And that way I can make it even all the way around. So as I smear the honey on with the knife, and it goes all the way around, that way my salt, my pepper, and my cinnamon is gonna be able to stick to it more. And it's gonna go on, I'm gonna put it in exactly like this into the microwave oven. Sorry, into the oven. So once I've got that there, and now I'm gonna put in, you put in as much salt, pepper, and cinnamon as you want. And I'm gonna add my pepper. So now I've got all the things on there. Now once you've got it all on there, what you wanna do is, give me two seconds, you're gonna to wanna to place it on a baking tray, okay? Or in a baking dish, whatever's gonna be more suitable for you. And once I've got that baking dish or baking tray, whatever I've got there, then I'm gonna place it into the oven. So I'm gonna place it into the oven for about an hour, like I said earlier. And the good thing about being able to place it in the oven for the hour is because if you place it in the oven, then you go and have a really good workout. You know, you go out to the gym, you go and train, and if you can have a timer in your oven so it turns off after an hour, you come home and you've got something nice and warm. So I'm actually gonna pull out what I've got right here at the moment. 
Oh my goodness gracious. Guys, this looks amazing. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this, right? But that is what the outcome is. It is nice, it is soft as. You can see that, it's nice and soft everywhere. And this is just gonna be brilliant. So this is, the one thing I love about pumpkin too, so this is this one that I measured here is uh, 650 grams, okay? And that equals 71 grams of carbohydrates, which is perfect for a post-workout meal. And this is huge, look at this. Like, this is gonna keep you full for ages, and this is one of the best things I like about it. So you're able to come home, you're able to eat this, and you're gonna feel full afterwards. Like, this smells so good. Let's give it a taste, if it tastes as good as it smells. Give me two seconds, I'm gonna cut this up, and we're gonna see. So all I'm gonna do here is use my little knife. Can you guys see here? Yep. Cut this. It's hot too, so it's good. And this is soft, wow. Look at that, that is soft as, it's golden brown. Oh my goodness gracious. Guys, this is a perfect post-workout meal. I guarantee if you try this, you are going to absolutely love it. Mm. The honey. The honey. The butter. Salt and pepper and cinnamon. That's absolutely perfect. This is actually the first time I made this. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like, this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. So guys, that is a post perfect post-workout meal. You can have whatever you want with this, whether it should be a protein shake with it, whether it be maybe you want to add some chicken, maybe you want to add something else to it to have that um, the protein too because you want a little bit of protein. But honestly, oh my God, that is so yummy. I'm going to go and enjoy this. I um, hope you guys are having a great day. And that's how you make a simple post-workout pumpkin for an hour. Easy as that. Speak to you guys next time.